Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to Back of His Teardown Lab. I'm having a massive clear out right now and a lot of stuff is unfortunately going into digital landfill and it's very upsetting actually but that's really the problem we've got in the world right now is that we've got so much stuff that really is just crap. So what I'm doing, I'll just show you my, my typical process, is I go through looking at the device. In fact, look at this thing. It's got a SIM card. It's got everything, right? I, it's, I don't even know what's going on with it. I mean, it says expiry date 04, 24, and it's, that's a top-up card. So, um, yeah, maybe, it, maybe, maybe I should just be using this, but I just assume it doesn't work. Let's pop the panel. So that's where you'd put in your SIM and your micro SD card. It does have a nice on. It's really well made actually. It's quite chunky. It's heavy. If we go turn it on somewhere, EE, 4EE. And, and these are the sort of things that when you'd get a contract for your phone, these were the add-ons that they'd give you sometimes. Look how this thing's made. It's, it feels absolutely indestructible. It looks like it's almost like an over-molded gadget. I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, but yeah, it's because well, we're all on data plans now, this sort of thing really doesn't need to exist. And they, they only really existed for quite a short period, when you think about it. For a brief period, these dongles became quite useful for laptops and things. And then phones, hot, hot spots took over, really. And I can't think of a, a scenario where you'd prefer to have one of these. Probably, if, if you've just got... Um, particularly bad broadband I guess at your house and you wanted something that your laptops and things could easily connect to without having to leave your phone in the room. So I suspect they still uh, actually exist but just not as pervasively as they were before. So I'm having a bit of trouble here, just got to work my way around. There's a port there so we'll go on the opposite side. Uh, I was having a lot of difficulty trying to get off, look at this thing. Remember, this thing's got a battery in it. Can you imagine how painful it will be to recycle something like this? Right, good. Making some progress at last. So I can see there's a little screen in there too. It'd be nice if we don't totally damage it. In fact, <laughs> the screen's hilarious. You'll like this. I can see something quite amusing about it. Right, now we're inside. And this is a fantastic source of a battery from the look of it. So the screen is just that little sliver. So there's a little tiny bit of screen in there. It's not that whole area. In fact, whoops, the old ribbons come off. Let's have a look at that. Let's take this off totally. So it's made by Alcatel. So there's the screen. It's probably just a dinky little OLED module. There are some markings on there. And you can see there's quite a lot of elements there on its edge connector, so it's not self-contained. It literally is just a screen and the driver will be on that main board. You can chuck that away. And look at this bad boy. In fact, that was screwed in, but we've since destroyed that. Let's see what we can see. You've got an onboard antenna for, oh, there's a lot here. So this is effectively a Wi-Fi modem totally self-contained. So your USB port here for charging, you've got two antennas. Look at that, there's two antennas. And if you look closely, you can actually see that one's coloured red. It has a slight red hue about it. And this one's a blue, so they've gone through a lot of effort there. And then you can see the buttons that were on the side, and then these are the battery well, I say these are battery terminals, I don't think they are actually. That is a battery connector for sure. And there you go, you can see the connector on the battery. So I wonder what those are, they must be the antennas. Yes, they are, look, it says Wi-Fi plus and minus. So these are the antennas for the phone system and that's a Wi-Fi antenna. So if we look at this grid, you can actually see those. So this would have been in that way. So that is a mobile phone antenna. I don't know what generation this would have been, but let's say 4G, it's probably 4G. And that's the second mobile phone antenna. And just there is the little Wi-Fi antenna, and Wi-Fi is always diddy because it's 2.4 a 
gigahertz and sometimes I mean if you're uh, making an antenna yourself there you go you can, you can just sort of measure those if you take a bit of coax and you just have a little bit of wire sticking out the end of the coax if you keep it about a couple of centimeters you'll probably get an okay signal now it would be nice to try to extract the the battery because in previous videos we've extracted batteries and we got rid of the um, extra stuff and we were able to actually reuse them so I'm just oh that, now isn't that pleasant that was absolutely great to remove that let's see the size here 3000 milliamp hours now I can't see our other batteries how big they are but it certainly seems quite chunky compared to them I mean this is the kind of battery you'd get in a tablet but whether or not you could use it really depends on those contacts there and you've got two red and two black limited charge voltage 4.35 volts what does that mean then so it's a 3.8 volt battery and it has a limited charge voltage of 4.35 so if it's limited does it have a little PCB in there that's the suggestion and I wonder if I look around yes we do have something like this I wonder if we can try to adapt this USB gadget to fit onto this because these are always pretty useless anyway these are pretty cheap nasty batteries so I'm going to get the soldering on we'll see if we can solder this on and see if this gives us anything final touch there, bit of solder a bit of heat shrink, make sure it doesn't short out while we're messing around Get in there. Nice. So I'm just going to put this on to charge. See what happens. 0 0.08 amps. Hmm. Well, let's leave it aside for a while. And while we're doing that, let's see what's on here then. So real interesting gubbins. Your SIM card slot, your micro SD card slot and then a few hidden things and another couple of antenna connectors. They love chucking those antenna connectors all over the place. Is this all soldered down? Let's have a look. So this is the RF shielding to stop extraneous emissions from going into or out of these modules as we're not trying to preserve <laughs> we're not, whoop, there you go <laughs> things we're just popping them off there's something that's quite interesting I found a big bag of these so clearly in the past there was a project I'd been working on and you have to order these. So these ones obviously look quite custom because they're quite uniform shapes, but there are standard square ones, which are probably a bit like this one here, that you can order. As long as you can fit all of your components into that footprint, you could get your own one made, and it's just surface mount. You can just pop it on at the end after everything else. In fact, that one is soldered down. Well, before we get too involved then, let's have a look. I would suspect, my gut feeling is saying that this is your main CPU. It's definitely got that feel about it. Um, but really, I suppose, unless we can read some of these numbers off, we won't know. But there is a Qualcomm there. You can just see the qu 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 the qu of the Qualcomm. Maybe if we get in there with the snippers. Yeah, that works. A much closer look so yeah Qualcomm MDM 9225 and then that's a 4DA95 maybe a memory so I'm guessing you're gonna have a Wi-Fi chipset a CPU a mobile phone chipset and all the rest that gets it all going so we'll just snip off the rest of this
And that uh, battery is now charging at half an amp, believe it or not. Which is good, good news. And it doesn't blow up in my face. Let's see what we can see in here. Mystery, mystery chip. So I'm going to have to hold this one right up to my face to have a look. It's a WTR1605L. Whatever that is. Again, look at these markings on this thing. Look at that. We should be running in 4K so we can review this afterwards. <laughs> we probably have a better chance of reading it. Now I'm going to see if we can get into that can using brute force and definitely ignorance. So this is perforating it like a can opener. I'm just pushing down, I'm not sliding along. I'm going to work my way around this. I got it off, but honestly, you're going to need a microscope to even have a chance of reading that. So let's have another little bit of a review, see what we think we have here. I mean, again, I'm pretty sure that's the main processor of the Qualcomm, and there are distinct test points there underneath it. There are some test points here, which are kind of look like they're aligning with these devices here so perhaps they are actually direct spy bus access to the SD card for example something like that and our little guy over here that's a bit of a mystery because it doesn't really go to anywhere well apart from there was a bit of PCB that we have ripped off here oh okay so perhaps it could be something to do with that USB so it could be the charge controller so that could be the charge controller and then we have our screen interface here. My gut feeling would be that's going over here. And again, one of these is probably Wi-Fi. And one of these is definitely going to be mobile phone. So yeah, not too much detail there, but we've seen inside. That's what we wanted to do. OK, so let's take it off. It's currently charging at 0.6 milliamps. Ah, this is feeling a little warm actually this bit here is getting a little bit warm Ooh, there we go we have some power so I think that would just work there's probably nothing wrong with that battery I might just sit and let it charge and uh, we can get on with it I think that's absolutely fine brilliant so if you wanted to you could just get an appropriate lead in fact I do have a lead and you just basically plug this into some other gadget if you've got one I mean this is uh, this is another gadget there's no speaker connected so it won't work but yeah you can see it's powering on the LEDs flashing the LED on the USB pen drive flashing and the LED blue LED here saying that it's all good all good in the hood so not a total waste then to put it back on to charge uh, interestingly enough now that's charging at an amp hmm it's taking some power there. Oh, it's going down rapidly though. So it's like spiking going down. There, so have we uh, accomplished anything? Well, I suppose we have. I mean, we've saved the battery component from landfill. And to be honest, that's the most valuable bit in this whole lot at the moment. Oh, there's something else in here. What's that? Oh, <laughs> a lanyard. I might save that. That's metal quality. 